Welcome back. Wizz Air is slashing the number of flights to and from Hungary after the Hungarian government announced it was closing its borders from April the from, from September the first uh, because of an, an uptick in the number of COVID cases. Wizz Air now plans to run 32 flights a week, down from 126. Budapest is a major hub uh, for for Wizz Air. The CEO Joseph Varady is, joins me now from Monaco. He joins me via Skype. Uh, Joseph, um, obviously extremely you know, unhelpful news for the airline that Hungary has decided to close its borders, not perhaps unexpected. But how difficult does this make your predictions for, for how you want to, to, to run Wizz Air? But it's a difficult time for the whole industry, and certainly we are not immune from the situation. And clearly, this has become kind of a roller coaster. So we are seeing markets and countries going up and down. I think it's very unfortunate what we are experiencing in Hungary now, and we hope that other countries don't follow the, uh, the same example. Now, the good news is, from our perspective, is that we are operating to 45 countries. Hungary is less than 10 percent of our business, so we are well diversified. If we have an issue in one place, we can overcome the problem in other places. And, for example, the UK is doing extremely well, and we are very keen on growing the business in the UK at the same time. One of the things we're seeing is massive reconstruction and reorganization within airlines. If I look at all of them, and you're not alone, but if I look at some of the things that you're doing, you know, um, making COVID redundant pilots reapply for new jobs if they do get the job at lower levels, uh, the sort of employee benefits that are being removed or restructured. I, I do worry whether airlines are taking advantage as many country, companies are, to make, to, to reduce their employee cost base? Well, you know, I think, I think this is a market, uh, and it is as cyclical as the, uh, as the economies uh, all around the world. I mean, let's not forget that over the last uh, six to seven years, for example, pilot pay um, has gone up like 30, 35 percent uh, at least, but I think it was a global phenomenon. Now the market has turned, and obviously we need to be realistic. I mean, this is a fight for survival in the industry, and every entity, every single airline has to do its very best uh, to cope with the situation and survive. And I think everyone has to contribute to it. Everyone has to pay, uh, pay the bill, and we have to share the hardship. And this is a hardship. Uh, this is not a time to, uh, to enjoy, but this is the time to get very focused, uh, to make sure that we go through this situation. And once we are again in better times, then we can look at these things again. Well, talking about the better times and thinking, listen to what you told me back in June, and we can take a, take a view then on how things go forward. Have a listen, Joe. It is unusual because you're going to be seeing the uh, industry sort of going backwards, uh, but we, we're going to be one of those few airlines uh, which actually will be going forward, and we are looking at this situation as an opportunity for our business. I mean, that's not... OK, so d bearing in mind the roller coaster analogy that you use, are you going up the hill at the moment or down? Well, we are going up and down at the same time. You know, we are very focused on managing the situation as it unfolds every day. But at the same time, we keep an eye on our future and we continue to invest in our future. So let me just give you two examples. Uh, during the last three months, uh, we have opened 10 new operating bases. Uh, I don't think any airline uh, has done that. Uh, we have continued to take deliveries right. of new aircraft. Most of the airlines actually have deferred aircraft deliveries or cancelled aircraft orders, but we continue to take new aircraft deliveries. Uh, and as a result, I think we are more diversified today than what we, uh, what we used to be. Uh, so this is just uh, uh, very important that we continue to invest in the future, uh, even in, uh, in, in difficult times. And, and this, is, this is something what we, what we do every day. But Again, as said, you know, we are not immune from the situation. We are uh, impacted very hardly, and we have to take actions to preserve cash, uh, to make sure that we remain productive as an organization. So we are dealing with the issues of the day today, as well as the, uh, uh, the opportunities uh, in front of us in the future. Joe, good to, see, good, good to see you, sir. It's going to be a difficult winter once, of course, the summer tourism is finishing. Uh, let's talk again in a few months' time so we can gauge that exactly how things are performing because it's a, a very strong barometer of what's happening in wider economies. Thank you. Joe Varady joining me from, uh, from, from Monaco. Now,